So what was kind of the, the message to see him after reviewing the tape? For the it, was, it was a lot of good takeaways from the game. I thought our execution was really solid. Um, we got up and down the floor. We scored in transition. We shot 43s, uh, <laughs> which is one of our goals. And not only did we shoot them, we took some good shots. Uh, so defensively, I thought we were sound. And we'll, we'll continue to assess, grow, uh, learn, come in, and, and try to improve in certain areas. But overall, I thought the, the, the energy, the spirit of the team, the way they shared the ball, uh, our defensive foundation rebounding the ball was solid. And you guys have talked a lot about wanting to play with pace and using DeJounte kind of as a guy who can create that pace. How important, how much has the message been to him? Hey, you can get off the ball early, and that'll wait. that's a way for you can, us to play faster, trusting your teammates you know, as they move up the court. Well, it, it's something that we want to do, and it's something that he, he wants as well. Uh, DeJounte, he's come in right away and made it a point of emphasis to get off the ball, to get it up quickly to guys. And he knows that it'll get back to him, and when it does, that's his time to operate and you know, attacking closeouts or pick and roll situations. Uh, so it's been great to have multiple guys that can handle the ball, shoot the ball, and also, you know, we got a ton of guys that can defend. We were talking after the game just about how much the game has changed. Um, do you want to take a guess of how many three-pointers the 3 4 76ers attempted per game? I just got curious to look that up. Um, I'd, say, I'd have to say less than 20. 12. 12. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I figured. I mean, how crazy is that? Like, when you're first year in the NBA, 12, and you're, you know, we're talking, you're coaching a team and talking, hey, I want to take 40. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's to me, it's great to see um, the, the NBA players, uh, GMs, presidents of teams, coaches just evolve and understand that, you know, we're not going to throw the ball down in the post 75 possessions. You know, we're going to open the floor up. We're going to try to play faster. You know, the three ball is important, and, you know, more and more teams are, I mean, I, I, I almost have to say almost every team plays that way now. And, and um, I think it's, it's a fun game to watch. Fun game to watch. Um, also, kind of speaking of your playing career, um, Jordan had a really good game, you know, Monday when he started his second year. Do you remember what the biggest difference between, like, your rookie season and your second year was as far as just being adjusted to the, the NBA? And yeah, for sure. You know, just the confidence, knowing that you belong, you know, having a good first season. But then the off season is important. You, you have a better understanding of what to work on, you know, how players are going to guard you, the strength and speed of, of, of the league now. You, you've adjusted to that. So you come back to your second season with a bit more confidence, a bit more understanding, and, and how to, to continue to be a really good player in this league. Willie, you mentioned the other day needing to feel more comfortable with the team shooting more threes. What's a good shot? What's a, first, a bad shot? Do you feel there's a similar type of transition you've got to go through in terms of small ball? Like, for instance, not having a traditional center, being worried about having size out there. Is there, like I said, you have to go through something similar regarding small ball too? Yeah, you do. Anytime you're, you're breaking up like sort of non-traditional, the way you've been doing things or your routine or what works for you, it's something that the more, the more we do it, the more I'll get comfortable, the more... I know, I know it's the right thing to do. I know it's the right thing is to, is to shoot 40 plus threes and, and, and really good shots, not just come down and force them, but catch and shoot mostly. Uh, I know we're gonna be a team that at times on the floor, we're gonna have you know, small ball, positionless you know, wings all across the board. So it, it's something that I understand. I know that we're gonna be, we're gonna play that way at some time, you know, at some point, but it does take time to work on it. It takes time to work on it and get comfortable doing it. The, the NBA announced that uh, Friday's game against the Magic yeah. has gotten canceled. Um, how does that, you know, alter your preparation? What are your thoughts on, I guess, going getting three of these games right now? You know, going into the season. Well, my first thought is not even on the game. It's really just um, all the folks in Florida that are going to be impacted by this hurricane, and you know, hopefully, um, everybody's being safe. People get out. And that's the most important thing. It's like we, we got to do what's best uh, because of the circumstances right now. So, you know, yeah, we would like to be able to play four games, but this is more important. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens after this, but not a big concern at all. We know this team lost a lot of quality bench depth from last season. How do you like how the young guys are progressing? Hawk, you know, Antonio, Eve, kind of keep up that consistent group that was here last year. 
Yeah, it's going to be next man up mentality. And uh, we have extreme confidence in our group. And every day they're coming in, they're working at it. They're consistently taking in the concepts and trying to go out and apply them. And, and that, that'll be the deal for us to just continue to grow, continue to improve, and continue to trust the work. And you talked on Monday about being excited to see Antonio play. Uh, his shots weren't necessarily falling, but it was a good. Just see him be aggressive the way he was. He was a little nervous. He was a little nervous, <laughs> but uh, it's expected. You know, his first time ever being on an NBA floor with the, with that type of setting, a preseason game, you know, it's, it's to be expected. And now, you know, kind of settle into yourself, continue to take those shots, continue to be aggressive, and, um, you know, he'll keep getting better from here. Was Brandon uh, able to go today? Yeah, Brandon was a full goal today in practice. Is, you know, as far as you know, for Sunday, are you planning to like, use everybody at um, everybody is, is healthy and ready. B.I. won't play into the last game. He'll play the last game of preseason, something that, you know, he's talked about with us as a staff. He's fine, but he's still, you know, just working through some, some kinks there. So expect him to be ready um, the last preseason game. Gotcha. Willie, do you expect um, for this to carry in the regular season the way maybe you do have to monitor his workload at least the start of the regular season because he's only going to appear, what, one preseason game and you have to kind of ramp him up, it sounds yeah. like? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it could be something that, we definitely have to be, pay attention to. I'll talk to, to our docs. They'll come up with, come up with a, a plan that a plan to attack the season for BI, and you know we'll go from there.